Nirimana, who was an ally to President Nkurunziza, the president has addressed Burundians, warning them against vengeance. He called for calm, saying that any form of revenge could wipe out an entire generation. The president deems it way too early to blame anyone for the killing of the general who died in a rocket and gun attack on his car in the capital, Bujumbura. Well, who exactly was General Adolf Nshimirimana? Well, here's why he was so important and why the president is urging Burundians not to carry out vengeance. He was seen as the mastermind behind the crackdown on the protests. He was also a key player in the foiling of the coup attempt on President Nkurunziza. General Adolf Nshirimimana was also a former army chief of staff and intelligence chief. He was reportedly in charge of the president's personal security, was a very close aide to the president, Pierre Nkurunziza. He was even considered as President Nkurunziza's regime number two. This, the, the late general was widely, also widely seen as the crisis hit Central African nation's de facto internal security chief. Well, for more on that situation, we go live to Bujumbura, where Mr. Jean Regis Nduimana is standing by. He is a media consultant. Mr. Nduimana, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Well, the president has called for calm following that unfortunate incident. Is that the case in the capital at the moment? Yes. Uh, it seems like um, the secret services and the police is doing uh, some search in some areas. Uh, I've been, uh, uh, been informed that in the south of Burundi, there is uh, uh, one is who is allegedly one of the driver of the commando team who did the, the attack uh, has been uh, been uh, searched in that area in South of Bujumbura. But fear fear more any repression from the police, like uh, the areas where there is uh, nearby the, the cream skin and the areas where there is some protesters. So this doesn't make any sense because whoever did that were like a military or any um, um, kind of uh, police guys or any kind of um, guys who are, were, were trained to do that job, not any uh, protesters in these areas. Mr. Nduimana, have investigations commenced into this, um, into this incident? Yes, yes. The president said yesterday he gave uh, police and uh, all agencies one week to to go on with investigation and come up with uh, any uh, any solution or whatever happened during that assassination. So only one week for investigation. Now, how has this affected the outcome of the elections? And by that, I mean the formation of the unity government. Yeah, uh, what happened yesterday maybe uh, uh, changed uh, some political uh, spheres here in Burundi because now people are saying that maybe the, the regime has been very very well impacted by this uh, this theft but so it will, it will delay whatever uh, political discussion is going on to set up that uh, government unity government and uh, maybe in the following days in the next uh, two days we will see whatever happened if so that the unit government is is there. That is the regime has not been so much impacted. It is still going on. But if it doesn't come up with that uh, cabinet, new cabinet, that is some political cards are being uh, replayed. But what what is the opposition saying about the delay? You know the opposition has been going with another. Uh, another another um, political game impacted. So you know, remember last week they met in Addis Ababa when they came up with uh, a new political <laughs> platform, and uh, which is which might have a uh, an armed wing. So they are playing another game. So they are not even more concerned with uh, whatever Monsiza is doing as long as he's not coming on the table for dialogue with them who are in the exile. 
Dandui Mana, thank you very much for giving us the latest. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Jean Regis Ndui Mana is reporting from Bujumbura. He is a media consultant and a university lecturer. Well, illegal migration continues to be a huge challenge, and this time around, 360 African migrants arrived in the southern port of Pozalo after being rescued at sea. There were some of the 1,800 plucked from seven overcrowded vessels by the Italian Coast Guard over the weekend. The tug ship ASO 29 docked in Pozzalo in the mid-afternoon and emergency workers were on hand to help the 361 people, including 60 women and 15 minors, to disembark. While there were no breakdowns by nationality of those rescued about a quarter of the migrant arrivals this year have come from Eritrea, followed by Nigeria, Somalia, Sudan, and Syria. Those figures were collated by the United Nations Refugee Agency. Still to come on Network Africa. We bring you the latest concerning what the United Nations is doing to address illegal and illicit poaching. 